आवाज होते हेलो आवाज होते का आवाज तो एक आवाज हेलो आवाज तो का यस सर In last lecture we have seen the paste of brown nut. Okay. Paste of brown seed crops in that paste of brown nut. The brown nut crop is infected by uh, mainly aphids. Brown nut, leaf roller, or leaf miner. groundnut thrips groundnut pod sucking bug pied grub leaf eating caterpillar tobacco leaf eating berry caterpillar bihar hairy caterpillar these are the major pest of groundnut okay the next crop in oil seed groups that is the sun flower major pest of sunflower that is the capitulum borer or head borer scientific name helicorpa armizera family noctidae order lepidoptera so this is the major pest of sunflower flower head so uh, their common name that is the head borer means uh, head of the sunflower which is damaged by the helicorpa armigera that's why their common name is the capitulum borer or head borer mainly they uh, infest to the heads of a sunflower that's why it is called as a head borer or capitulum borer Uh, this is one of the important pest of sunflower polyphagus pest mostly cause damage to the heads of a heads of a sunflower a mark of identification of that pest mainly first one eggs which are spherical in shape bemu height in color and uh, deposit their eggs in a singly not in a clusters or in a groups they deposit individual eggs on a leaves or near the heads or capitulum of a sunflower then a larval stage shows different color variations mainly from greenish their initial instars 
first second is stars which are greenish in color and uh, last one is stars fourth fourth in star fifth in stars having a brownish in color it has dark brown gray lines on the body with lateral white lines and also has dark and pale heads pale bands mainly on the dorsal region having a uh, dark brown gray lines and on the lateral portion of a body having a whitish lines on their lateral region of a body color of that larva varies uh, from greenish to brownish in color pupal stage of that paste which is a brownish in color mainly pupal stage found in a soil or in a leaves infested pods infested heads or in a crop debris adult stage in that mainly adult which is a small in size stoutly built nature light pale brownish yellow in color uh, mainly their four wings are olive green olive green to pale brown with dark brown circular spots on the center of a four wings hind wings mainly smoky white with broad blackish outer margin of a hind wings uh, life cycle uh, life cycle of helicorp armizera first one eggs adult female deposit their eggs mainly on a leaves or on the uh, heads of a uh, heads of a sunflower near about 100 to 120 eggs deposited by a single adult and the incubation period is near about 4 to 6 days then uh, larval stage uh, having a 6 in stars larval period is near about 12 to 15 days then pupal stage uh, mainly in a soil pupal period is near about 7 to 8 days and last one adult stage having longevity is near about 6 to 10 days so total life cycle completed within a 30 days depending upon the climatic condition On nature of damage, this is the noctuidae family insect. Hence, they mainly cause damage to the crops during the night hours. This is the Lepidopteran pest. Their damaging stage is the larva. Initially, larva feeds on a leaves in their younger stages and in the seed formation stage or on the latter stage, they feed on the developing seeds and bore the head. Uh, due to the infestation of that uh, Helicorpa also fungal development in a infested heads uh, started and these infested heads should be rotting. The larva consumes leaves in early stage of growth and moves towards the capitulum and tunnel the head. So mainly uh, Helicorpa infest to the heads or capitulum of a Sunflower. And due to that, fungus growth is also takes place, and rotting is takes place in the infected uh, heads of a sunflower. And there are adverse effect on the yield of a sunflower. Management practices: uh, first one, removal of egg masses, also infested uh, leaves along with the larva. Then uh, intercropping should be done to avoid the infestation of helicorpa. Intercropping with mainly pulses, green, green gram, black gram, groundnut, soybean, as well as uh, sowing three to four lines of maize or jawar around the sunflower crop to monitor the infestation of helicorpa. So trap crops like marigold at 50 plants per hectare to attract the helicorpa armizera adult female towards that marigold 
for deposition of their eggs mainly yellowish colors of that marigold uh, is attracted by the helicorpa for the egg laying then use of the pheromone traps four traps per acre for pest intensity identification as well as trapping the adult moth in the pheromone traps particular lure uh, is used for the attraction of a male adult and that lure is uh, called as the heli lure heli lure is a particular used for the attraction of a helicorpa armigera male adult then setting uh, light traps one light traps per five acre to know the range of pest in incidence as well as to kill moth population release uh, predators like uh, coccinellids mainly ladybird beetles chrysoperla carnea at the rate one larva per head release parasitoids like trichogramma species at the rate 20000 per acre as well as bracon species campolitis species these are also eggs parasites application of hnpv that is the helicorpa armigera nuclear polyhedrosis virus 250 larval equivalent per hectare for the effective control of capitulum borer spraying with point uh, spraying with 5% neem oil or 5% neem seed kernel extract before de, uh, before the position of a egg laying also uh, give better result against the capitulum borer these are the images of which insect कुणाला सांगता येईल का कशाचे इमेजेस आहेत त्या कोणता इन्सेक्ट आहे दिस इज द व्हेरियस स्पेसीज ऑफ लेडी बर्ड बिटल कॉक्सिनेला कॉक्सिनेला जिनस लेडी बर्ड बिटल फेरियस sunflower only one pest that is the capitulum borer or head borer the next one crop uh, major oil seed crop that is the castor castor is infested by various pest like castor shoot and capsule borer castor hairy caterpillar castor semi looper castor slug caterpillar tobacco leaf eating caterpillar these are the various important pest of a castor first one uh, major pest of castor that is the castor capsule borer uh, mainly um, their capsule borer common name that's why because these pest mainly cause damage to the uh, capsule of a castors castor shoot and capsule borer their damage is mainly on the shoot as well as capsules of a castor that's why it is called as a castor shoot and capsule borer scientific name dico Oris punctiferalis family pyralidae order lepidoptera
देन कैस्टर से मिलो पर साइंटिफिक नेम अचय जनाटा नॉक्टिडी फैमिली ऑर्डर लिपडोप्टेरा होस्ट प्लांट अडल्ट होस्ट ऑफ दैट पेस्ट मेनली फ्रूट क्रॉप्स लाइक पोमोग्रेनेट सिट्रस मैंगो दीज आर दी अडल्ट होस्ट अडल्ट ऑफ दैट पेस्ट इज मेनली सक द juice from the infested fruits in a citrus that paste is called as a fruit sucking moth or in a pomegranate or in a mango fruit sucking moth so there adult infest on the uh, mainly on the pomegranate uh, citrus guava as well as mango they suck the juice from the infested fruits then mark of identification of castor semilupor why it is called as a semilupor semi means half at the time of uh, walking they form a half 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 loop of a body that's why it is called as a semi loop looper making a half loop of a body at the time of walking in that picture you can clearly see in the castor semilupor half loop of a that's why it is called as a semi looper uh, mainly eggs are round bluish green in color ridged and are laid singly on tender shoots usually on the under surface of a leaves larva which is a semi looper in type varying shades of color with black head abdomen has red spots on the third abdominal segment and red tubercles in the anal region of a body pupal stage pupa which is a mainly reddish brown in color about 1/4 inch in length and covered by a silken cocoon inside the silken cocoon they deposit the pupa adult stage uh, mainly adult moth which is a stoutly bodied grayish brown in color with wavy lines on the fore wings hind wings are white with black patches or markings on their hind wings mainly adult which is a uh, adult body of that uh, castor semilupor which is a stoutly body the in that uh, abdomen thoracic portion of the body which is a, a stoutly bodied or stoutly bodied that's why we can easily identify that castor semilupor adult life cycle mainly adult of adult female of Uh, semi looper deposit their eggs on the lower surface of a leaves incubation period is near about 3 to 4 days larval period is near about 2 weeks pupal stage of that paste in a silken cocoons of a dried leaves pupal period is near about 11 to 27 days total life cycle completed within 4 to 6 weeks and near about 5 to 6 generations completed in a one year then uh, nature of damage damaging stage of that pest is the larva or caterpillar as well as adult moth so uh, caterpillars that is the voracious feeders mainly feeds on a leaves uh, feeding starts uh, from the edges of the leaves towards the inward from the edges towards the inward leaves behind only the midrib and stal the damage is uh, more in august september and october month the adult of this species are food sucking moth and cause serious damage in a citrus pomegranate as well as in 
mango so uh, larval stage of that uh, castor semilupor mainly in phase to the leaves and adult stage of that phase mainly act as a fruit sucking mouth on citrus pomegranate and mango management practices uh, spray any one of the following chemicals in that melathion 50% ac 2 ml 2 liter per hectare or carbaryl 50 wp 2 kg per hectare in 1000 liter of water apply neem seed kernel extract 5% plus neem oil 2% as well as 0.05% chlorpyrifos as soon as incidence is a noticed at the at that time spraying should be initiated so this is all about the castor semilupor mainly their larval stage is in phase to the leaves of a castor and other stage of that phase in phase to the citrus pomegranate and mango act as a fruit sucking moth then next one that is the castor slug caterpillar so their common name that is the slug caterpillar because their larva is uh, look like a slug dorsal ventrally flat in a shape that's why it is called as a castor slug caterpillar slug Uh, adult stage is a medium sized moth with brown colored wings and a prominent green band at the base of a four wings mainly their four wings which are at the base of a four wings these are the greenish a uh, green band on the um, base of a four wings and the remaining portion of a four wings which is a brownish in color hind wings of that pest mainly dirty white and gray lines on their hind wings host plant castor cocoa pomegranate mango wood apple etc larval stage is like a slug that's why it is called as a slug caterpillar ventrally flat greenish body with white lines on their dorsal region of a body this is the larval stage which is looks like a slug ventrally flat this is also a slug caterpillar in that we can clearly see the whitish lines on their dorsal surface of a body these are the ventrally flat These are eggs, larva, pupal stage, and adult of a slug caterpillar. Nature of damage: larval stage is the damaging stage of that pest mainly. Uh, feed gregariously on the leaves of a castor and later spread over the entire plant cause defoliation in severe case of infestation only mid ribs and veins of a leaves which are remaining on the leaves so mainly this pest is cause severe damage to the leaves of a castor management practices in the early stage of infestation uh, picking the caterpillars and the cocoon that are found on the tree trunk and destroying them application of uh, chemicals mainly chlorpyrifos or phenolfos 2 ml per liter of water if pest attack is a more the next one 
fist of a caster that is the caster shoot and capsule borer their common name that is the shoot and capsule borer because this fist is mainly cause damage to the shoots as well as capsules of a caster infestation on a shoot portion as well as on a capsules of a caster that's why it is called as a caster capsule borer scientific name conogitus punctiferalis hamelli pyralidi order lepidoptera this is the regular pest of caster it attacks variety of host plant cause different types of damage when it attacks a caster uh, host plant caster cardamom which is called as a shoot and capsule borer in a caster and in a cardamom in a sorghum it is called as a ear head borer in mango it is called as a inflorescence caterpillar in ginger it is called as a rhizome borer guava peach jack tomato it is called as a fruit borer so this is the uh, having a very a various wide host range of a caster capsule borer then uh, mark of identification in that larval stage which is a small in size 24 mm in length brownish with pinkish tint and fine hairs with dark head and prothoracic shield so mainly uh, in a larval stage their head which is a dark brownish in color prothoracic shield which is also a dark brownish in color then mainly color of a body which is a greenish to pinkish in color and minute hairs also seen on the surface of a body and pinkish tints at the posterior portion of a body order stage which is a small in size bright yellow with numerous black spots on, on their body as well as on the wings mainly wings of the adult which are uh, prominently or bright yellowish in color and uh, various brown colored spots also on the wings as well as on the body of a adult moth adult moth body is also yellowish in color life cycle in that eggs mostly deposit their eggs on tender shoots as well as on a capsules incubation period is near about 3 to 4 days larval period is near about 13.5 to 16.6 days pupal stage of that pest is inside the infested uh, stem or in a shoots or in a capsules pupal period is near about 9 to 10.5 days adult longevity is near about 8.12 to 9.5 days nature of damage damaging stage of that pest which is a larval stage mainly initially these larva infest to the shoots and in the latter stage they bore the capsules and uh, after getting entry inside the capsules the inner content of the capsules they feed and due to that infestation uh, yield of a caster is uh, adversely affected as well as oil percentage of a caster is also reduced due to the infestation of a caster shoot and capsule borer so this pest mainly cause damage to the shoots as well as capsules of a caster
management practices in that removal and destruction of infested shoots as well as capsules uh, application of chemical group of insecticides mainly melathion 2 liter per hectare carbaryl 2 kg per hectare in 1000 liter of a water so this is all about the pest of castor is infected by the uh, severely infected by the castor shoot and capsule borer castor semiloper and castor slug caterpillar the next oil seed crop that is the pest of sesamum sesamum is an important oil seed crops in tropics subtropics however 99% of its production in our 99% uh, of its production area is located in uh, developing countries sesamum is attacked by numerous pests and diseases that reduce its yield and lower the quality of a seed about 38 insect pest species have been found to infest sesamum out of that major pest that is the sesamum leaf weaver roller and capsule borer sesamum gall fly sesamum leaf eating caterpillar so first one that is the leaf weaver or leaf roller and capsule borer antigastra catalu analis this is the important pest of sesamum mainly cause damage to the leaves as well as capsules of a castor this is the lepidopteran order pest eggs mainly deposit under surface of a leaves or on capsules and on branches eggs which are minute and conical in shape freshly deposit eggs are white in color which later change to dark white before hatching larval stage which is a cylindrical in shape greenish in color with black head about 50 mm in length pupal stage which is a slender long necked greenish reddish brown in color adult which is a medium size moth reddish yellow four wings nature of damage mainly young larva first initially young larva initially rolling up a leaves together to cure top leaves and feed on them in the early stage of infestation the plant dies without producing any branch or shoot in the latter stage if attack infested shoots stop growing at flowering larva feed inside the flowers and on capsule formation larva bore into the developing seeds so initially this uh, leaf roller or minor larva mining the leaves and feed on that mined leaves uh, as well as on the flowers and at the uh, pod formation stage this mainly infest to the pods of a sesamum and their adverse yield effect on the yield of a sesamum even practices application application of neem formulation 0.03% spraying one of the following chemicals in that carbaryl 50 wp 1000 g per hectare in 5 liter of 500 500 liter of water neem seed kernel extract 5% neem 2% use alternate insecticides each time to avoid the sad okay idos bar the next one uh, pest of sesamum that is the sesamum leaf eating caterpillar 
तिलहक मौत डेड हेड मौत स्पिनेक्स कैटरपिलर अचरोटिस्टिक्स पिंजीडी लिप्रोप्टेरा इट इज कॉल्ड एज अ डेड हेड डेड हेड मौत बिकॉज ऑन द थोरेसिक रीजन ऑफ ए बॉडी हैविंग अ ह्यूमन डेड हेड लाइक स्ट्रक्चर दैट्स वाई इट इज कॉल्ड एज अ डेड हेड मौत डेड हेड मौत ह्यूमन स्केलेटन लाइक स्ट्रक्चर ऑन द थोरेसिक रीजन ऑफ ए बॉडी दैट्स वाई इट इज कॉल्ड एज अ डेड हेड मौत लार्गोल स्टेज ऑफ दैट पेस्ट विच इज जस्ट आउट ग्रीन विथ येलोइश ऑब्लिक स्ट्रीप्स एंड करडो एनल हॉर्न लार्वल पीरियड लास्ट फॉर सिक्सटीन डेज दिस इज दल पोर्शन ऑफ देअर बॉडी हॉर्न लाइक करोड एनल हॉर्न लाइक स्ट्रक्चर्स ऑन देअर एनल रिजन ऑफ ए बॉडी मेनली ग्रीनिश Yellowish, uh, greenish color of a larva with yellowish strips on their body. Pupal stage of that pest in a soil and pupa which is a brownish in color. This one is the adult stage, mainly brownish in color. Thorax with the characteristic skull markings. Skull marking, skull marking, abdomen has violet and yellow band. Fore wings are dark brown. Hind wings are yellowish with black line, two black lines on the costal margin of the hind wings. So, this is the prominent skull marking on the thoracic region of the sesamum. Till hook mouth. That's why it is called as the head head mouth. Acherontia cystix spingidi lepidoptera. Life cycle mainly uh, eggs deposit on leaves. Larval period is near about two month. Pupal stage of that pest in a soil. Pupal period is near about one to two month. Total life cycle completed within three to five month. Nature of damage caterpillar or larva is the damage leave completely in case of severe infestation. at the flowering stage larva feed inside the flowers and on capsule formation larva bore the capsules and feed on the developing seeds management practices deploying to expose the pupa for predation to insectivorous birds and collection of larva and destroy two rounds of dusting with pozelon 4% or melathion 5% dust First at 30 days after sowing and second at 45 days after sowing. Next one pest that is the Sesamum gallfly. Scientific name Aspondylia sesami family Sesidomidae. Order Diptera. Economic importance it is the most noxious pest of Sesamum and may cause heavy losses. It is a serious pest in the Nagpur region, and incidence to the extent of twenty percent has been reported. Gall fly. So this pest mainly form a gall-like structure on infested portion of a plant. That's why it is called as a gall fly. Mark of identification: maggot, which is a whitish, legless. With body tapering on the body tapering externally, adults looks like a mosquito. Eggs, the deposit eggs into ovaries of a flower buds, flowers, and as well as on a capsules. Incubation period two to four days.
larval period is near about 15 to 20 days pupal stage of that pest is mainly inside the infested galls pupal period is near about 6 to 10 days total life cycle completed within 3 to 4 weeks nature of damage this is the diphtheran order pest that's why their damaging stage is the maggot feed inside the flower buds leading to the leading to formation of gall like structures which do not develop into flower or capsules the flower buds wither and drop and there are words effect on the yield of a sesame management practices to spraying with neem formulation 0.03% application of various chemicals in that carbaryl 50 wp 1000 gram per hectare in 500 liter of water neem seed kernel extract 5% neem oil 2% uh, and 166 io so this is all about the paste of sesame okay laka shanka sel tar vichara अडसन आहे कोणाला काय कोणाला ठीक आहे आपण स्टॉप करतोय तर